In recent years, the Buffalo Bills have been the spirit and the power of the AFC, and the Bills made it look easy. Always enjoying home field advantage, they devastated the Raiders two years ago. A 51-3 waltz into the Super Bowl. Last season, Buffalo's high-powered, no-huddle offense crushed Kansas City in the playoffs. Again, happy at home, the Bills' faithful helped carry Buffalo to a second consecutive Super Bowl. But there are no cheers today at Rich Stadium. Home field advantage this season crumbled at the Houston Astrodome. In the season finale, the Oilers denied Buffalo the AFC East title, leaving Marv Levy's troops wondering and without their all-pro quarterback. The Oilers' rampage continued in a wild-card rematch. When Bubba McDowell returned Frank Reich's second-half pass for a touchdown, Houston had a 32-point lead with only 28 minutes to play. Then spurred by a frenzied Rich Stadium crowd and their new hero, Frank Reich, Buffalo would register the greatest comeback in NFL history. Last week, ignoring the adversity of Pittsburgh's unfriendly crowd, plus injuries to key players, an impressive Bills win encouraged those who believe in Buffalo's championship fate. Riding the magic arm of Dan Marino, Miami returns to the AFC title game. It's been a year of acquisition for Coach Don Shula on offense running back Bobby Humphrey from the Denver Broncos. And former Eagles tight end Keith Jackson have added scoring punch. Miami's much improved defense keyed by rookies Marco Coleman, last week's star Troy Vincent, and 24-year-old leading tackler Brian Cox. Oh, Don Shula and Dan Marino appreciate their home field opportunity today. But will Jim Kelly's return spark the Bills' seeming predestined trip to another Super Bowl? One will be AFC champion. Brilliant, 72.